Did this all happen before 12 noon? Yeah, before 12. On Thursday. On Thursday. You drove by, you saw her walking the kids. You asked him, he says, that's Wendy. She's making sure that, that we're gonna do this or whatever. That she wanted to make sure that we was up there. She thought, she thought that we were lying. That's right. And an overnight stay uh -huh. switch on a Wednesday. That's my best memory. So it's it a, a better way to describe it would be if it's your week, you have the boys, but on Wednesday night they will sleep at uh, Denmark, stay do an overnight sleepover at Denmark Hill, right, and then return them to you the next day, or return them to school, and or then school. and then you pick them up in the evening, right. So the day of the homicide, do you remember what day of the week that was? I believe it was Friday. Okay, so um, the day before would have been a Thursday. Right. Okay. Do you remember what you were doing that day? I don't. Is there any way that you would have been walking down Trescott Drive with your two sons the day before his murder? No, I, I don't live in walking distance, so there's no reason why I would have been walking down the street. No. You and Mr. Markell weren't on that kind of talking or, or speaking terms where you would be at the Trescott home and he wasn't there? No. You wouldn't go and take the boys for a walk on Trescott Drive? I, I don't think so, no. And as far as you knew at that time, the kids, what school were they attending? They went to Creative Preschool. Okay, and when you would drop the kids off at Creative Preschool, do you have to sign them in? You do have to sign them in. Okay, and then, so there should be a record of the days that the boys would have been at the preschool. That's right. What time would you drop the boys off? Do you remember? Is it an early morning thing or? I would drop them off in the morning. Um, I don't remember. Maybe it was eight, maybe it was nine. I, oh, so but nothing late like 11. I don't think so. And then what would be the usual time you pick them up in the afternoon? I think it would depend on whether I was teaching or, or if I had court, what I was up to. But my guess is sometime between three and six, I would pick them up. So would it be fair to say that, you know, around 11 o'clock in the morning, the boys would probably be in school on a weekday? That would be right. Okay. In this case, the stipulated facts that you must accept are true are the Markell children were enrolled at Creative Preschool located in Tallahassee. During the week of July 14th, 2024, their drop-off pickup schedule was as follows. Wednesday, July 16th, 2014, dropped off at 9 a.m. by Dan Markell, picked up at 4.30 p.m. by Wendy Adelson. Thursday, July 17th, 2014, dropped off at 8.30 a.m. by Wendy Adelson, picked up at 4.45 p.m. by Dan Markell. Friday, July 18th, 2014, dropped off at 8.50 a.m. by Dan Markell. On July 17, 2014, <laughs> as your honor just recited, you dropped, you call dropping the kids off at school at 8.30 in the morning? Yes. And Professor Markell picked them up at 4.45 p.m. on that day, thereabouts, or thereabouts. Which I just heard, but I wouldn't have known what time. You didn't pick them up that I day? Did, no, it wasn't my day. So it would be impossible the person would be wrong if they said that they saw you and the kids by Professor Markell's house in the afternoon or morning of July 17, 2014, correct? It would be some other woman and some other kids. So I said, you know, I said, who well, asked him who knows he was not just kid. I said, that leg knows I'm in a car, he's like, nobody knows just kid. But in my instance, I didn't trust him that, that day. I'm like, somebody else gotta know. Because if you told Katie, Katie had to tell that lady. Because, yeah. you know, that, that day that the murder, when I seen Wendy, that's when I asked him, who's that lady? And he said, that's Wendy. I remember her clearly stay with the two boys. When you all get back to Miami, you just go drive straight back to Miami? Yeah, straight to Miami. The next day, it was Thursday. It was Thursday. The 
next day we drove around there. I ran around the block. I went around the block to the other part behind the house. He said, pull in here real quick. Let me go see if he's home. So we pulled in. He walked over there. He looked, came back. He let go around the house. He said he seen something, but he wasn't too sure if it was money. So when I go around the, the front of the house, then I come back like this. So I'm driving this way. Wendy's walking this way with the two kids. So I'm driving. They find it too. Boom. I'm looking to my rear mirror on the eyes. I see him. Hey, what's up with this lady? Why is she looking so much? He's like, oh, that's that lady. It's Wendy. I'm like, oh, no, that's her name. I said, what's that lady? I'm like, okay. I seen her two kids. I said, what's she doing up here? What is she doing up here? Oh, no, she can't. Let's make sure that everything's all right because he's leaving, he's, leaving he's leaving out of town tomorrow. So it's got to get done tomorrow morning before he leaves. We leave. We go back to the hotel. Let so me interrupt you for a minute. Was there ever a phone call from anyone around the time that you saw who he described to be? When she walked, uh, as I'm looking at the rear mirror, she going to walk a little bit further from my house, get on the phone. By the time we get to the hotel, we stop in Kate. That's when he asked Kate, what's she doing up here? You know, but I asked, I asked him in the car before he came. Home, what is she doing up here? He like she came up here to see if everything's all right with the kids. I said, man, you gotta know something besides that shit. What this lady's doing up here? And she knows that we're up here. She knows you're up here. So what's she doing up here? So when she um he calls he calls Katie. Hey, what's going on? I seen this lady up here. Oh no, she's making sure that everything is fine. That if, what time he's leaving tomorrow um, on the flight or where the fuck he's going? I said, so we gotta do this tomorrow, huh? He's like, yeah, but he's leaving. On, he's leaving. He's leaving, but she can't see the kids. But I'm, I seen the face and everything. I'm like, all right. So I'm like, we wow. drive. We went back to the hotel. I'm, I'm sitting down. I'm sitting down on the chair in the hotel, and he's looking like, you all right? Like, no, I'm just curious what the fuck this lady's doing up here. Now, don't worry about that shit. Everything's good, man. She just made sure that everything was all right. I said, I don't really like the sound of this shit, but whatever. If you say everything's all right, I trust you because I just trust you. I trust you with you, my dog. Don't worry about it, man. Yeah, man. Take a drink. It was like early in the morning. It was 12 and I'm good on the fuck. Did this all happen before 12 noon? Yeah, before 12. On Thursday? On Thursday. You drove by, you saw her walking the kids. Mm -hmm. You asked him, he says, that's Wendy. Mm -hmm. She's making sure that, that we're going to do this or whatever. That she wanted to make sure that we was up there. She thought she thought that we were lying, that he was lying. Man, she they don't even know I'm in the car that, until she seen until she seen me that day. Yeah, but your car's got 10 in Wendy's. Does she even know what kind of car you guys are in? That car ain't not even tinted. That you can see through it. It's like you can see real. You can see it. It's not. It's not. It's tinted, but not dark like people think. Right, but she wouldn't know you from Adam's house. She wouldn't she, know you from anybody. Yeah, she don't know you from anybody. <laughs> but you can see you. You got a little short guy in a car like this. And I'm driving like this, and you see her seal. But she doesn't crash me stuff. You know, so she looked and then he looked. You know, that's what caught my attention. Like. But so with this lady living in the car, she didn't know she wanted to make sure that it was up. That's Katie. Katie had told him everything. And then he called Katie and she called Katie. And I'm leaving the day. And he left. He told Katie, yo, everything all right with this lady? And she was like, yeah, we're going straight. Don't worry about it. Just make sure you get that shit done. Do you hear that? Yeah. Or he tells you that? No, I can hear it. I can hear it talking to the phone. You're in the car or in the motel room? No, I'm in the car. I was still in the car. We have pulled up. Before we go in, every time before we go in the hotel, we sit in the car for like 10 minutes. We don't go, we just don't go in. Because I'm sitting down like, yo, you see that camera right there? You know, that's facing that way. You see that one over there? Yeah, man, how you see all these shit? because, look at that camera over there, man. I ain't tell them, yo, you better start drinking, man, for you to pay attention. <laughs> so, so, so you hear her voice mm -hmm. saying hear that that, 
that she he recognizes her without question. He doesn't have to ask. You don't even, he didn't even have to call and ask him. You already know. Who He's was. already saying, why is Wendy here? Yeah. yeah. No, I asked him right. why she's up. And then he relays to her on the yeah, phone. Yeah, he relays to her why she came up with That's the conversation. So it's not a question of if it's Wendy. He already knows it's Wendy. Oh, he's already knows that. And he's telling Katie, why is Wendy here? Mm -hmm. To make sure that he was up there, make sure he wasn't lying. And she was just paying him for nothing but. So Tudo, so Tudo's met Wendy. Yeah, I think he did. I'm a, a matter of fact, I ain't even gonna answer that right there because I'm not hundred percent. Okay. Did you know Wendy? No, not at all. You ever seen him before? Just that day. That day I seen him on Thursday. I'm not gonna say I never met her. I never seen. Her. I don't know if he met her or you know, but I know he said that's Wendy. Okay. All right. And Katie says she wants to make sure that you guys are. It would make sure that we was up there. And you heard her voice say that. Yeah. All right, so you're right back at the motel and he wants to start drinking. It's before noon. Yeah, we hanging out. Nah, nah, I'm in the hotel hanging out. We, the next day, I'm like, man, listen, don't get drunk, man. If you want to do something, you got to do it right. And he was too sick. Wake up in the morning, first thing he does, chug, 